food, he has yeah. food around you. Except and I really missed it. I, yeah, I had to look for more more than an hour for a takeaway. It took about 20 minutes before I got a sandwich. And I really missed. But uh, did you guys notice anything the moment you stepped out of the airplane? Was it different? Because last time was really cold, I guess. It was hot. Oh. <laughs> it was like we, we came into a sauna. Yes, it's yeah. like a sauna. Yeah. Like here here in Sokcho is a little bit better, but uh, it's if not we that go warm. back if we go back to Seoul, you, you will feel it's like it feels like a sauna. It's really yes. humid. We don't have that in Europe. Yeah, no, we don't have that. No. We yeah, have when not the when we have that, it's one day and then it's gone already. Mm. But not not like this. And not the high I temperatures. I borrowed this uh, sweater <laughs> from uh, Yannick's girlfriend because I only had. He said it's so warm in, in, in uh, Korea, it's, it's about 30, 35 mm. degrees, so I only take tops with me, yeah. but now <laughs> I feel a little bit cold. But, but I, I, <laughs> my friends, and it was so hot that we even couldn't sleep in the night, in, in the middle of the night. So, so uh, like a few days ago there was a typhoon, yeah, uh, and because of the, the typhoon, uh, the weather is a little bit cool right now. That's why it's, it's, it's a little bit cool, yeah. but I, I think next week it will be hot again. Here. Okay, okay. It's okay, it's not that warm. I'm, I'm mm. glad, but I didn't expect it. I'm curious about the sea, the ocean. Yeah, me too. We have in Holland, like we have a sea. sea, we have no ocean. Mm. So they ocean say... Ocean is more rough, I guess, yeah, they say uh, that. waves, eh? mm. normally. No. Yeah, but... Uh, and colder, Korea, I guess. Korea, the, actually, the normally, the waves are really small in the summer, like literally no waves. Okay. But now oh, with wow. the typhoon, the waves are big. I, I like waves. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, when we drove yesterday, we saw on our right side, we saw the ocean, and on our left side, there were mountains. That was very special, uh, the, the contradiction. To see. Yeah, all the mountains and all the uh, the clouds in the mountain look really yeah. big, right? Yeah, it's like they are in in the mountains, the, the in the clouds, the mountains, right? Yes. Yeah. Every time I always go hiking uh, with my Western friends, we always say, yeah, the mountains in Korea are so Asian mountains, and the mountains in Europe they're like Europe mountains because you can you can really see the difference in the mountain style. Yeah. Like the moment if, if you just see a picture from a mountain in Korea, like I think we can tell it's a mountain in Asia because it looks so different than European mountains. They all have they are more Point. uh, pointed. Yeah, and more Europe. lines. Like <laughs> it, yes, it, it's really beautiful. Yeah. I think. And many many forests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Green, it was green. funny because so Myra was surprised uh, when we were driving on the highway up to come all the way here. Are we even moving? Because like one hour ago it looked like this and now it still looks like this. Yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. similar. The whole tri about the three hour drive, I said, we see, it uh, wasn't tunnel. Tunnel. Tunnel, yeah. Mountains, green, tunnel. Mountain, tunnel, mountain. I said, well, it the landscape, the landscape didn't change that much, you know, for me. Mm. It is beautiful, but it was... It's just endless nature, and right? Yeah, yeah. endless yeah. nature. Yeah, uh, I, I, I love it. So that's one of the reasons that I really like living here in Korea, yeah. because I live in the big city, but the moment you go out of the big city, there's just the nature and the mountains yeah. and it's yeah. the rivers, you can go everywhere. So here it looks a little bit like Seoul, by where you live, like, mm. but if you go out, you know, the skyline, then you have the, the huge buildings, yeah. the, the volcanoes. That's also different from our country. It's so much colors. All the colors uh, is so what beautiful. I, what, colors. Uh, what, I, what surprised me uh, last time is that things look old, and but if you go in a restaurant, we look for a fancy restaurant. Oh, that looks good. And uh, here, you, you think, to? okay. <laughs> Do I have to go in here on plastic seats? But then, yeah. but the food is always good, so you know. It's, that is, I love it. <laughs> one, there's one rule in, in Korea: the I, most ugly restaurant has the best, best food. Best food. Yeah, I I experienced that, and I'm so surprised of that, and I yeah. love it. I really love mm. it. When I came back in Holland uh, in January, I went to the city to shop, and then I was hungry. If I want to eat something, I have to go to a uh, bistro and sit down and order and it took about 20 minutes before I get a sandwich or whatever. And I really missed, I missed how quick it, it went here and the diversity of everywhere is food and I have to look if I have to go to that restaurant or that bistro or, you know, the 
food here, yeah. food around you. you said, and I really missed it. I, I want to have a snack. Where yeah. can I have a snack? You no. said you said this was this was strange. <laughs> yeah, I had to look for more more than an hour for a takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> we only have then like a sandwich. Uh, yeah, it's funny because when I ask you. Uh, Oh, Yannick, maybe we should buy some snack or maybe we should buy some coffee later. We need to find out where the cafe is. Yes. And it's like, oh, right. I don't have to look for that because it doesn't matter where I go. It's always there. It's always yeah. there. Yeah. That's, that is really amazing. You know, when we arrived in the Netherlands uh, in uh, January, she made for herself for over more than two months Every day, kimbap. Every day. She didn't like the bread. She only wanted to eat I kimbap. I am so... <laughs> well, she was I, I love the, the kimbap. I eat every day here kimbap. And Yannick came, after we uh, came, he came back to Holland for his surgery. And he le- he teach me how to make kimbap. So we have in Holland, we ha- do have to- a toko. Like I have a, to like drive Asian, about... Asian like supermarket. Asian yeah. supermarket. So I have to drive about 30 minutes to get one. They are not much of that yeah. Asian they don't, food, they, don't, they don't have many Korean ingredients yeah. but the yeah. good thing is with kimbap you can actually put in a lot of different things so yeah. you can kind of make uh, yeah, yeah. some good kimbap Easter, with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually there's a good thing there's becoming more and more Korean food in the Netherlands even the kimchi we can buy now in tokos and that yes. was never before yeah. it's the last year it's yeah. changing a lot there is coming more and more Korean food in Asian stores now there is a Korean corner and that was never before I was even surprised uh, I went to the Netherlands in, in February when I just go to my village or like a small uh, town around my village to the supermarket or do some other shops they were selling like Shin Ramyeon even Pultak Pokemyeon I was I was in shock because uh, before when I lived in, in the Netherlands for like six years ago there was like no Korean food no Korean people no yep. Korean restaurants nothing, nothing. And now it's changing a lot. Yeah. Six years ago, they were like, if you want to buy Korean ingredients, maybe you can buy some gochujang, uh, duenjang, and maybe some kimchi in a really big Asian supermarket. But if you go to normal supermarkets, nothing. it's really hard to find. Even the normal Asian supermarkets, the smaller ones, they have no Korean ingredients. But now every uh, Asian supermarket has at least some Korean ingredients. And the bigger ones, they have like almost everything. Like you can even buy soju now. Huh? Uh, last time, no, last we time, didn't find soju. Yes, yes. Last time I even uh, saw uh, they were selling soju in 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 some small village uh, supermarket in my yeah. town. Yeah, it's really like it's a really small uh, supermarket. It's not an Asian supermarket at all, but they were selling soju and they were selling more shin ramen and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting. So I started making kimbap and the first uh, I made, I make a picture and I send it to Yannick and then Fran said, where's the egg? <laughs> <laughs> so I started very similar, but they get better and better every week. And then at last Yannick said, well, you are kimbap master, kimbap master. Yeah. You can sell them so in Korea. There was a lot of rice in it in the beginning and not much in there. And now I make but, you know, I stopped. It's so much work. I did it for for two months, every day. It's, it's so funny when, when she makes the first kimbap. One of my friends here in Korea was like, Where's the egg? Yeah, I forgot. Where's the, the egg? egg? No, you cannot make it without the egg. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm sorry. Tomorrow I make it with egg. <laughs> but I, every time I make something, uh, um, I send Yannick pictures. <laughs> And he learned me to make kimchi soup. Kimchi jjigae. Mm. Oh right, we didn't have the gongchi in the Netherlands, so I, I found the s- similar yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah. with the mackerel. Yeah. You don't see the mountains now, so cloudy. Yeah. It's even a little bit of rain. She also makes the junjang jjigae. It's nice because in the Netherlands it's easy to buy the, the gochujang and the and the junjang. So it's easy to make uh, like a junjang jjigae for Myra. And what I really want to to make and I didn't do it because the pancake, I, the pancake with, <laughs> yeah. the, with the uh, yeah. we, we had the yesterday. garlic leaves okay. with the garlic leaves. Yes. Yeah, I order. I, I we ordered the kimchi uh, chamchi kimchi jjigae, and then I didn't tell them I also ordered the uh, hemel pajeon. And the moment the hemel pajeon came, literally at the same time, yes. they were like no, yes! no. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we were so surprised. Yeah. That we, oh. 
we attacked. It was, we attacked I, it, at the <laughs> same at the same moment. Whoa! Yeah, I never saw you guys so happy at oh, food. Oh, <laughs> I was so happy. Yeah, it was totally unexpected. And I want to make. I want to. Really I want to make. I want to try to make it at home. Yeah. yeah it's really easy to make. Yeah, but I still. Yeah. Yeah, but that it's ingredient. The, that ingredient is difficult to become in the Netherlands. We have garlic, but we don't have the garlic leaves in the in the in the stores. Yeah, the one we had it's yesterday was without the garlic leaves. Hey, what, was, what are the yeah, ingredients? Bosai. Bosai, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, we have spring that. onion, yeah. Oh, spring onion. Ah. Okay. There's so many different kind of Korean pancake yeah. that you can just literally use everything. You can use only kimchi, or you can use only spring onion, or you can add some uh, some seafood with the spring onion. Yeah, that was good too. Oh, that was good. Too. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling hungry. <laughs> Talking about all the nice food. Delicious. That's funny. Uh, Let's but try. you cannot have the mm. soup in it. That's okay. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's so good. Mm. I like it. But I, I have a surprise. Da -da 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 -da. What is it? Uh, it's like a like a special sauce you can put in. It's a crab paste actually. Oh, I like. Ooh. You like crab? Yeah, I like crab. Totally different. Oh, that is a nice flavor. Oh, it's a completely salty, different. Salty, silky sea. 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 It smells like crab. sea. It's the crab taste. You can taste the sea. Yum yum yum. At such a little paste can change the taste of the whole ingredient yeah. so completely. Yeah, it's like wow. a real concentrated wow. like crab paste. So. Oh, lekker. That, um, it's, oh, so, it's so it's nice. So yeah. Wow.